Hello beautiful! In this video I'm showing you more than 35 ways you can make money as a crafter. And make sure you stay till the very end because I'm sharing pretty unique ideas that I'm sure you will love. You can sell your crafts online and offline. Online we have platforms like Etsy, Amazon Handmade, eBay. Then you can sell on your website. Another way to sell online is on social media like TikTok and Instagram, Facebook Marketplace, Wholesale. So you can go on platform like Fair on your website. Now there is offline shops in your area and you can go two ways with that. So you could go wholesale or you can go consignment. Wholesales it means that you sell to them the product at a discounted price. They buy from you. At your end it's finished. You made the sales and they have to sell it. Consignment is different because it means that you put your product in their shop, they don't pay you and whatever they sell, you get a commission. Then you can do craft fairs and market. Another place where you can sell that I think it's pretty unique is other type of businesses. You could actually approach some Airbnbs in your area. Cat? Sorry, my cat. <laughs> some airbnbs in your area that might be interested to have some artisan products but also maybe tour operators or travel agents i used to make candles that they were smelly like places so paris rome they were really good to to give to travel agent that they could give to their clients as a gift also wedding planners if you're able you know to make beautiful arrangement of flowers of course you can work with uh, someone who organize weddings or other type of ceremonies. Now we have to talk about the type of product that you can sell. Of course your own product line, custom orders for your client that's really really good especially on Etsy because people love custom products. You could have sub subscription if I can say. No you cannot. <laughs> Boxes where your clients can get I don't know for example with the candle one candle a month you know a different candle every month white label or private label i don't know if you know the difference white label is generic that you can sell the same to you know different type of, of businesses also you can do private labels and they're gonna have a pretty unique product that they don't have to make by themselves but they can sell as theirs okay before we move to the expertise if you like this type of video let me know down below give me a like or dislike at least i know i always say that doesn't matter but at least i know <laughs> what i'm supposed to make and don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we talk about a lot of crafts and business related stuff the next is your expertise as a crafter the first first step which i'm trying to do right now <laughs> with this video with all the 200 videos that I have on my YouTube channel is to build your audience. audience. I personally would advise, because that's exactly what I'm doing, to start with YouTube. So you could start your own channel showing the behind the scene of your small business if you have it or how you do your crafts. So with YouTube you can make money in different ways. The first is the AdSense you need to reach 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch time hours now there is the other tier 3000 watch time hours which is not easy trust me <laughs> it takes time but i think it's so worth it after we have affiliate so for example if i'm making a candle i can link all the product that i'm using through amazon or other websites and every time someone buys through the link i make a little bit of a commission then you get sponsorships merch then i haven't done yet but i wanted to do it you can go live and you can get some super chats then you can open a membership through youtube and you can give some perks like for example have early access to some videos and you can go different ways or open a membership on youtube or you can go to patreon then this is something i really really want to do workshops and you can go same in um, in person or online i would love to do it in person and a lot of people in the candles group on facebook do that so you can hire maybe a venue or if you have i don't know even if you have a garage like a nice garage you have here in australia the new houses and it's like a, a room like a nice room so you can do it even there i would do it there and uh, yeah you hire a place and for example me because i love making uh, creative candles or dessert candles you know i would love to have a like a workshop so you have i don't know five ten 
10, 15 people, making candles, but I need to start even basic, like with a basic candle, and then have different types of, uh, yeah, workshops. And then they get to take their, their own candles or whatever they make at home. Some people, they do like candle and wine together. I was thinking because I used to make a lot of uh, dessert candles, maybe. One idea could be like make a pina colada candle while drinking an extra pina colada or something like that. I don't even drink alcohol, but I think it would be <laughs> fun and cool. Just don't mix them, <laughs> the two of them. Don't drink the candle. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> then you can do the, the workshop online. Similar to the to the workshop is an online course that you can sell on your website or you can sell sell on platforms like Skillshare. And you know, if you make, I don't know, beautiful resin art and you know you have so much experience and you know you can sell that as a as an extra course. I personally believe <laughs> the online courses have a really bad rap for a reason, to be honest. <laughs> I don't really trust, uh, you know, too many online courses, but because there's a lot of scams out there. But the re the problem is, I believe, is when someone is not actually selling you a skill. For me, for example, I know how to make candles, and I have the best video. This is the best video on how to make the strongest scented candle ever. So I link it up here, or maybe it's there. <laughs> I know how to make candles. I've been making for, oh man, I don't know, 2016, since 2016. So I know how to make candles. If I make a course about how to make candles, it's not a scam because it's a skill that I'm teaching you. You know, I'm not telling you how to get rich selling online courses, basically. <laughs> I would never do that. <laughs> selling digital, digital downloads, templates, recipes, an ebook about your craft and all the secrets that you have learned if you want i think it's a little bit more time consuming but why not you could write an extra book it needs to be you know good with good information but because it's crafting i think you can have a lot of pages with the um, like with images and then the last is coaching and because you're an expert in your craft people will be happy to pay you as to coach them how to make the best scented candle, no, the strongest scented candle ever. I know how to do that. <laughs> I can coach you how to make that. No, but seriously, which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Ciao.